Hey everybody, DM Jim here, and welcome to a new episode of the Tabletop Engineer. You may notice some changes, no goggles. I finally convinced my son to let me get away from wearing the goggles every episode. He agreed. Some episodes, not all. But uh, for right now, I get a little bit of freedom. They, they, leave, they leave marks. Anyway, I have a very good friend here in Atlanta who asked me if I could design him a vehicle of some kind that was a science fiction style. Uh, it doesn't want it to roll, just needs to be fixed in place. And uh, I bandied some ideas around with him and came up with something. So let's get to the tabletop and let me show you what I came up with. I hope you like it. I began this project with just a single piece of chipboard. I cut out a basic shape. Uh, I just sort of made it up. I thought what would look good on the bottom and then what would look good on the top. And the top piece was slightly smaller so that the walls would angle inward. It may be a little difficult to tell from the video, but later on you'll be able to see that the, uh, the walls angle. And then I just spent some time adding greebles, wood pieces, plastic pieces, all kinds of crazy little pieces of plastic and, and dowels and what have you. And I just kept going at it. Every time I would think that's enough, I would just add some more because I remembered that once you prime over this, it'll all blend in and it'll look consistent. So I went back and I started finding more junk, little pieces of tile, uh, little jewels that I could glue on. And as you can see here, this thing got really, really crazy. I went out in the garage, hit it with some white primer. I also took some toy wheels and painted them silver with purple and black for the rims. And then I hit the entire thing with some random colors, blues and reds. And when that was done, I mean, I went really crazy with the dark wash. I made this thing just disgusting looking. I gave it one coat, looked at it, said that's not enough, went back and gave it a second coat which really, really helped age the entire thing. After that, I used some erector uh, set pieces, plastic, to, to glue on the bottom. And these were going to sort of hold these other erector pieces, these gray pieces, to serve as the axles. And they would also give me a point to glue the wheels on. Now, I will tell you this. Gluing these wheels on was a real pain. Um, mainly because they're so light. Uh, I am worried they'll break off, but I hit them with a lot, a lot, a lot of hot glue. And so I think they'll be okay for now. But if they do pop off, they can be easily glued back on. But again, take your time. I was sort of rushed. I really had a deadline for a friend of mine, and I, I rushed it and rushed it. And I ended up having to glue the wheels on more than once. So what you're seeing here is my first attempt, and you'll see the wheels are very, very angled but later on they're less angled and that's because the front two came off and I had to glue them back on again. All in all, I'm quite pleased with how this thing looks. It looks very weathered, the wheels look really cool and uh, it took about less than four hours. So there is one science fiction vehicle right here. Um, the paint's still a little wet, but uh, on the bottom where I painted the um, I don't know what you would call those things, the axles. Not really the axle. Yeah, I guess I'll call them the axles. But I hope you liked it. it. It's a quick and dirty project. It was something he wanted really fast. It didn't have a lot of time on it. Uh, he wanted it weathered, which I used a dark wash to do that. I don't know if he'll like the paint scheme I came up with, but he's free to you know paint it again and do it up however he wants. I didn't have like a, um, a, a team color or anything like that. He didn't give me that any, anything to go on. So um, I just basically put together what I consider to be some sort of buggy that would be roaming across, you know, a planet. Uh, the wheels came from a cheap toy. I think I bought two trucks with those wheels. This is what they looked like before. This is what they look like painted silver with a black and purple rim. Uh, I, I want to say it was like under $5 for both trucks and I only used the wheels. But I did pull for the electronics from the trucks, which had a bunch of LEDs and sound effects. I'm hoping I can use those in the future pro for, a, for a future project. So anyway, like I said, just um, chipboard. This is nothing but chipboard, toy tires, some plastic pieces from an erector set, and then a bunch of little greebles that I've collected over the years. I couldn't tell you where half this stuff came from. You know, you can see the surface there. It's just a bunch of junk. But glue it all on, give it a consistent paint job, weather it up, and all of a sudden it looks 
pretty decent. Anyway, um, I hope you liked it. Uh, next week, I'll be back with another craft on Friday. And if you haven't checked out uh, the new Bexum's Bazaar website, beximsbazaar.com, I'll put a link in the description below. Please go check it out. I've got issue number one of the magazines coming out on January 1st, 2019. Right now, you can download what I call issue zero, which is a freebie issue, just to kind of give you an idea of what the magazine's about. Go to bexumsbazaar.com. All the information about the magazine is there, including a link to download the free issue zero and a link to Patreon where you can subscribe to the magazine if you like it. It's going to be $2 an issue per month, and uh, I, need, I need subscribers to keep it going. It's going to run all through 2019. I'm going to do 12 issues, and then at the end of the year, I'll decide whether or not to continue with another year uh, based on how many subscribers I have. So if you really like it, uh, and I hope you do, I hope you'll consider subscribing uh, just to help uh, help the magazine survive, convince me that there's a need for this or a want for this kind of thing, and I'm happy to do it. So anyway, this is DM Jim. I'll see you next week for another Friday how-to. Take care.